Hi everyone, Lisa here from Elsie Designs. Uh, welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Um, today we're going to be um, using the Campology stamp set. This week I had a creative block. I don't know why I just couldn't. I wanted to do Easter, but I did Easter last week and I was just, um, I don't know, I couldn't think. So I had this stamp set that I chose because I love to camp. And believe it or not, I hadn't even um, pulled the stamp set out once. So it was brand new. So we have some treat boxes. I'm gonna check real quick to make sure that I'm in the right place. Um, and it looks like I am in the right spot. I want it to see if I can put it on my business page. But it looks like I'm not going to be able, I don't want to spend a lot of time. I am uh, jumped on just a, a couple of minutes early just because I wanted to make sure that I was in the right place. I got vaccinated on Monday, so I'm very happy about that. Just had the sore arm, just like, and it was so quick and easy, I couldn't believe it. I got the Moderna one. Um, just, I was just shocked how easy it was. I kept watching on TV, getting a little nervous, seeing those needles go all the way in, and um, usually shots don't bother me, but anyway, I'm vaccinated, so I get my next one in three weeks. Um, so, uh, our prizes for last week, like I said, I was going to have four, um, packages of cards. So, my winners are Pam Sch Schwartzer, Kelly Frank, Debbie Schultz, and Kay's cards. I think I have all of your addresses. I'll double check if I don't. I will go ahead and message you. So how do you get entered to win is you share my video. Once you share my video, you comment that you have shared my video. That way um, I know that you shared. Last week the numbers weren't right, but you know, Facebook does some funny things. And like sometimes I'll have shares, but nobody's comment that they shared. So that's why last week there was four prizes. Um, so this week, this is one of my favorite stamp sets is in bloom. This will be the prize for this week. If you share my video, I, um, took advantage of the free shipping last week and I bought a lot of prizes, a lot of stamp sets and prizes. So, um, if you want today's make and takes, you just place a $35, order in my online store and use the host code that I have provided. I'll show you in a bit, but your make and takes come like this. They come in a package. This is last week's. So each project is individually, um, you know, separated so that, um, you know, you can put them together. They're scored, punched, whatever. This is a little goodie for me because I cannot send stamped images on your projects. This is just a little goodie for me. So your packages will come like this with your make and takes. So when you spend $35 in my online store and use the host code, I'll send you the make and takes. These were last week, so I will send you what we're doing today. And also, if you spend 30, since if you're gonna spend 35, $30, you get my Sweet Stamp and Friends tutorial. This month is all about birthdays. So there's eight birthday projects. There's a scrapbook page. I know of maybe a couple of 3D projects, but um, teamed up with seven other amazing demonstrators. So you'll get that as well. And um, my project sheet has already been posted. The project sheet has all the measurements. So I list each project and the measurements for each project are there. And then these are all the supplies that I use in the projects and I have the item numbers. That way it makes it easy for you. You don't have to go through the catalog and try and find each individual number when you're placing your order. And the host code is also down here at the bottom. So 
if you have any questions on any of that, let me know. Um, oh, today is a big day, actually, for us demonstrators. You can, um, we get to see the new annual catalog. It's going to come out at 12 o'clock my time, 1 o'clock mountain time. So we get to see the new catalog and the retiring list is going to come out. So the retiring list is everything in the annual catalog that the current annual catalog that will not be carried over and you can get um, some of them are discounted. So you want to um, get those as soon as you can because those items are only while supplies last. The stamps, they'll, they'll kind of carry those out because um, Stampin' Up! makes the stamps. But uh, as soon as I get that list, I'll um, download it to the site, the retiring list. I cannot show you the catalog. I cannot share it until um, May 1st. I believe it's May 1st. But if you want to join my team, you can view it today as well. Plus, you'll get to pre-order anything you want out of the catalog. And you'll um, get your 20% discount right away. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. Let's get started with today's project. Today. So I'm going to put a little piece of tape on this because I don't want this moving around. This here is my host code that you'll use. So like I said, we're gonna use the Campology stamp set. I really like this, I had to have it. We do a lot of camping. We used to do tent camping, but we have a trailer. So now that we have a trailer, you know, we don't do so much tent camping. And our first project is gonna be um, just a card, Happy Trails and You Brighten My Path. So for this one, we're going to need um, early espresso. And we are going to cut that at five and a half by eight and a half. Am I doing this right? No, I go this way first. I'm so used to doing my cards the other direction. So let's um, score this first. And then now, I don't even think I did that right. Cut it at five and a half. So maybe it's right. Five and a half by four. Yeah, four and a quarter. So I did do it right. So, and then we're gonna also need, I should do all my cutting first, a piece of crumb cake that is gonna be five and a quarter by four. And we're gonna need a piece of very vanilla for the inside, which is gonna be uh, five and a quarter by four. I'm gonna cut the four inch side first, and then five and a quarter. How many of you like to go camping? I enjoy it so much. We've been doing a lot, especially since COVID, since you, um, you know, you're not able to do a lot traveling and stuff so one thing you can do is camp we do a yearly trip to lake tahoe which we love every year we've seen bears oh before i stamp this i took this die and it's actually from the butterfly brilliance um it's the bundle i can't remember the name of the dies but um I just kind of wanted to add some texture to the card. So you can put these wherever you want, you know, wherever you want the texture. I think I put some over here in this corner. I just kind of wanted to like roughen it up, I guess you could say. And this just puts a texture on it, see? And I think I did one over here in this corner. But I want it to roughen it up make it look like it was a uh, you know outdoorsy and then another one there and you can put these any position you want and i think one more in this corner put them any way that you want just to kind of roughen it up 
that's my words. <laughs> okay, now we can stay. So I have the trees and I have soft suede ink. And we're just gonna, I got something there. Stamp this over here on this side. Oops, my <laughs> my base turned right when I stamp. And I don't want to re-stamp there because I'll mess it up. But as soon as I went to stamp, my uh, piece moved. Okay, so we're going to need a um, very vanilla square. We'll use this. And then an early espresso square. Um, I can't believe I did that. So the early espresso is going to be the scallop square. And the very vanilla is going to be the stitched square. catching the replay and if you catch this on YouTube um, you can subscribe to my channel and then you'll get my workshop Wednesday videos um, all the time so just subscribe or like and you'll uh, get my um, notifications for my videos okay so this is smoky slate and I'm gonna do the binoculars on the stitch square and then I'm going to use soft suede again and we're going to put happy trails I have another stamp on here I can't remember what I'm using that one for because <laughs> I might not even be using it I don't think I'm actually using that one I need to put yeah this one needs to go back into its set I was Another my next um, my last project. I was going to use that stamp and then I decided not to So we'll go ahead and adhere these And this just barely fits on there Because I just wanted to add a little a little color behind it and then on my um on this piece, we're gonna rough up the edges. Oops. And I think I showed you this maybe last week. Again, just use the edge of your scissors. Let me use the side without the, and then it just roughens it up. Again, I'm kind of looking for a rugged, you know, rough look. Cause we're out in the, the forest camping. And so we're just going to rough up all the edges. And it's pretty simple. Just go across the edges and it kind of shreds it. And there we go. So now we're going to use our bone folder. And I want to just curl each of the corners. So just kind of curl each of the corners because those are not going to go fully down on the card. Here's our card base. So um, I'm going to use some liquid glue on this. And put this right on here. And so you could see your, your corners are still going to stay well popped up. However, however much you want them to stay popped up. Okay, so now we're going to take a piece of mint macaron. And I know the other day I had posted about um, me having green all over. It was another project that I had to, um, <laughs> I had to not do because... I don't know how I just had 
shaded spruce all over my hands. So we're just gonna stamp the um, tent in shaded spruce. And then what I did is I got the Just Jade and it's the light Just Jade. And I just kind of went over the dark uh, parts of, or the, you know, all the lines. I just went in over it with the dark, with the light, but over the dark, uh, the dark, um, the dark lines. I can't speak today. I don't know what's going on. It just kind of gives a little bit of like shading. And then I left the grass. And then, um, I'm going to cut this out. Hi, Pam. I'm glad to see that you guys are here. I hope you guys like camping. So of course there's no dies for this set. So what I did is I just cut it out. I just wanted to add some color to this, give it a little pop of color. I actually had started this in the shaded spruce and the um, mint macaron and I just didn't like the way it looked. Like I said, for whatever this week, I was just having a creative block. So I was like having a hard time creating. So we're gonna pop this up with a dimensional and um, just gives it that pop of color. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the, I'm gonna put it over here where I messed up so that it doesn't look so faded. And there's my tent. And now we're gonna need the linen thread. And you know how your ah, linen thread is all curly? I usually like to just run my bone folder over it and it kind of straightens it out. Just to, so it's not so curly, even though we're gonna put it behind here um, so I just wrapped it around about four times and what I like to do is, oops, pinch it in the middle, put a dimensional down, stick this to the dimensional and then we could spread it out once we put the tag on. So on the tag, we'll just put a dimensional on the bottom and the top. And we'll put that over. Are you ladies excited that the new catalog is coming? Are you ready for new, um, new product? Are you tired of this stuff? Like I said, I haven't, hadn't even used this set. It was like a set I had to have and then I didn't even, hadn't even used it. So there's the front of our card. So now that piece of very vanilla that we cut, we're gonna use the um, the lantern. And I'm looking forward to that new catalog season. Just, I can't wait. So I'm using Smoky Slate again. I'm not really sure what I want out of the new catalog, <laughs> but I'm just excited, uh, excited for a new, a new catalog. So I'm using, ah, Mango Melody, which I just almost lost, and I'm just gonna color the inside of this so that it looks like the light is on, is on or lit, I should say, because it's a lantern. And we're gonna use, is it soft suede again? Soft suede and you brighten my path. So this is like a nice uh, manly card. Masculine, I should say. You know. And you can give it for anything or just because. I just want to make sure this is a little bit dry. My uh, some of my stamp pads are nice and juicy. Oops. Me and this snail. Still working with this snail. 
and we'll just put that in there. And there's our first project. So I hope you guys like that. Happy trails. Ah, you brighten my path. So that's just the card for today. And I have some, the next two or three projects. I'm just gonna clean these real quick because I think, I know I'm gonna use some of these stamps again. Just wanna make sure that they're not messy and get all over. See my chamois, my chamois is very loved. <laughs> I just washed it too. Thank goodness that the colors don't bleed onto it. Okay. So let me, I know I'm gonna need this. Let me get rid of this mess. And we can move on to the next project. Is there anything that you ladies are looking forward to in the new catalog? Anything you would like to see? Um, you know, I kind of like, um, I think a little uh, another maybe grandparent one. I really like the one that um, one of our million dollar achievers came out with this year. But uh, um, I don't know. I don't have enough uh, for like my um, my husband and the grandkids. So oh, let me show you the project. This is our next project, and it's a little box with the. Um, it holds coffee candy. So I picked these ones up at Trader Joe's and they're, um, I don't know, I love coffee, so I'm always eating coffee can candy too. Um, uh, but these are addicting. I don't know if it's like, you know, coffee or <laughs> because uh, it's a good candy. So anyway, on this one, oh, I got all these stamp sets in the way here. This one, we're gonna need a piece of eight and a half by six. So we'll cut this down to six. And this is already eight and a half this way. So I'll get my um, Simply Score. And we're gonna, this thing always pops open. We are gonna score this. So on the eight and a half side, we're gonna score at two, four, six, and eight. So two, four, six, eight. Turn it, and this is gonna be on the six inch side. We're gonna score at one, two, and four. So pretty easy. So let's fold and burnish all those lines. And we're going to do some cutting and then we'll put it on. Um, I'm going to use the Stamparatus because I'm using the big um, Buffalo Check Stamp. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to put that on my product list. On my, um, I'm pretty sure I did. So we're gonna cut these two small boxes out and this one, and you can just angle the middle tab, and then these are gonna get cut off. That's gonna be our only um, piece that we're gonna keep here. So we'll do some more cutting after because I'm going to use the Stamparatus. And on this, it's not going to fit this sheet perfectly because, um, uh, you know, it's not going to, this is not as big as this, but this here is going to be your bottom. So you really don't need it all the way here. <laughs> Am I making sense? I feel like I can't see because I'm in the, you know, I don't want to stick my head in the camera. So what we're going to do first is, and this tab don't need it, so I don't know why I'm lining that tab up. The tab doesn't need it because that's not going to be seen. But we want to get it, let's line this up at this 
line up here and we can put our magnet here to hold it and then we want to get the marks there so kind of let it hang over because see there's this blank space so kind of have it hang over the edge a little and then a little over the edge at the top we're not going to get this because again it's not it's the bottom of the box anyway so we can put our stamparatus on i mean our pat on the stamparatus and i'm going to use memento black and this does not have to be perfect either because we want it to you know um it doesn't have to be perfect as far as it all being inked because again we want kind of a rough look so you know with your stamparatus that you can um keep inking it up if you want it darker well that's not good hmm so we can re-ink it i don't know what happened there that's weird it looks all blotchy there was ink all over it see all the ink so let's try again Maybe I need to press a little harder in the middle. A little better. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this around and we're going to go here on this line again. But we're moving it up now because this is now the bottom and we don't need that to, to get marked. So I'm just trying to eyeball it. I should have seen where I put my, and then we're gonna move it out. See where this ends? So we're gonna move this out some. I'm probably making this look a lot more complicated than it is, <laughs> but it's really not. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we want it to look like it's, you know, roughed up from camping. And so we'll just put this one down. I think I'm a little bit off, but let's hope that that center came out this time. And let's ink it up once more, add some more ink. Okay, that's the great thing about the Stamparatus is that you can ink and ink and ink and ink. Okay, so that's good enough. We'll put that aside. Oops, out of the way. And now we're going to finish cutting up the sides. I'll go on this side so that, well, so you can see a little bit better. But we're just going to cut up all these score lines here. Like this. And honestly, I think if you cut off the bottom where it's not um, stamped, it would probably still work as a bottom. It would fit, if that makes sense to you. So we're going to add some tear and tape right here to the little tab. Where's my tear and tape? There you go. So then we're gonna put the tear and tape on these sides. So you're gonna, it doesn't matter which ones you put them on, just put three out of the four. Cause the first one you don't need tape on, the one that's gonna go up and under. So I'll explain. <clears throat> so this one will fold over like that. What I'm talking about, so here's the one without it, without the tape. So that'll go first. And then you can do your next ones. But what I was saying about cutting this portion off that doesn't have this, it should. Look, let's cut it off. So if you want to make it, I'm going to cut my tear and tape, but that's okay. Just to show you, you can cut those tabs off. I cut some of the tear and tape and it's still going to fold over. So then you don't see that blank part on the back side if that's what you, uh, you know, you, you don't want it to be like blank. And so there you go. 
And now these are just gonna fit in here like this, and like this, and like this. So let's put some of our coffee candies in there. And I chose the coffee candies because I'm doing the coffee pot. And our little, um, our little class, we'll put one on for now, just to hold it. And then we're gonna make our tags. So for the tag, we're gonna use um, the circles. The um, use the scallop one's gonna be black, and the stitched one is gonna be white. So actually, what we can do first is stamp our image. And you know what? I did the wrong color. We can do black, but I want to do um smoky slate because it's a little bit lighter. And it's just a little bit lighter and it doesn't take up. You know, your red will stand out a little bit better. Okay. So let's try smoky slate. And I'm going to need another cup so we can just do it over here. It's good. They're going to be hand cut again. Wish there was dies for this, but there's no dies. So we're going to use the, um, the light real red. Well, what I did first, let's do the dark first. Just kind of outline some of it with the dark. Again, there's all this dark color. All this shading. My coloring is not on point today. And then with the light, I'll just blend it all in. My marker sounds like it's dry and it shouldn't be. I haven't used it that much. But we're just gonna color it in with the red. You know, I actually have coffee um, a coffee pot and um, cups that look like this from the from camping from years ago when we were doing all our tent camping and getting all our stuff having our old uh, Coleman tent you know I miss it but I tell you what having a trailer <laughs> sure is nice you know, being able to get up and just shower right in your trailer. And uh, we're going to do this other cup. It's just, I love being out in the wilderness. The smell of the fresh air, the campfires at night. I actually have a project. My last project that you'll use at the campfire. Yeah, my coloring is just not the greatest. And this is bronze. I wanted to color the coffee in. Color some coffee. And I took the light smoky, oh no, light gray granite and just kind of went around this shadowing to kind of shadow it in. I did the same over here. We're just going to use that cup. It's a second cup. So no dies. So we're going to have to um, uh, fussy cut them. Hi, Wendy. Glad to see you on here. Oh, this one's going to be fussy cut. I forgot. This is going to go with the die cut. So just cut this around. I'm sorry, my coloring is just not good. I think it's because I'm trying not to stick my head too far in and get in the camera or even bump the camera. Oh, and another thing 
once I'm done cutting this, is I like to use that uh, light gray in color in here. Just kind of takes the, the white out. More makes it look like you're seeing through the handles. Okay, so we're gonna die cut that with the circle. Clean that so I don't have a mess all over. Don't lose my little coffee cup. I wanted to have a set of two instead of just one coffee cup. So this will go right in here. And it does fit. As long as my paper don't move. And I need a piece of black for my circle. I thought I had a smaller piece. But we'll just cut a piece of this since this whole thing's not going to fit in the big shot. And we'll do our scallop circle. So Susan, you'd like to see um, some more flower sets and the more masculine? Me as well. I kind of got a sneak peek of some projects a while back because they send me these surveys. So I kind of got to see what was coming. But you know, I forgot that's been so long ago. They give us the surveys to see what we think about the products. You know, where we would rate them. And I don't really remember anything sticking out in my mind. So our little one is going to go on a dimensional. That one's going to be popped up. But, you know, they ask us so far in advance that I don't really remember. Like I said, anything that stood out in my mind. So we're going to add some more twine behind this one. Our linen thread. I love the linen thread for the rustic look as well. My poor linen thread's a mess right now. This one I did a lot. But that's okay. And again, we'll put a dimensional down. We'll put this on the dimensional. We'll put a dimensional on the top and the bottom of our oops, circle. And we're gonna place that. Oh, my dimensional showing a little bit through. Oh, which is probably not a big deal, but and there you go. So now we will stamp in Memento Black. Enjoy today. And we're going to use the, I think this is classic label, everyday label. I probably could have used a better piece of paper, but I only needed a scrap. See what I mean? I could have used a different piece, a bigger piece. There we go. And we're just going to add that to our, well, what I did is actually I used a dimensional to put it on. Okay. I used a dimensional to add it on there so it'll stay when they open the box. You know, they're just going to take the clip off, but the, um, the tag will stay. So like that, and we're gonna do a little linen. My <laughs> my linen thread is a mess because 
I went and pulled it from the wrong direction from the beginning and so I messed it all up, but I didn't straighten this out very well. We're just gonna tie a little bow and add it so that the clip's just not there by itself. Oh. I just went and pulled that too, too hard. Look, I got memento black all over me. See, I don't know how, that's how I had green all over me the other day. So we're just gonna add the bow to the clip. Now we're gonna close it back up and add this right there on the tag. So then that way when they open it, they're just opening it like this. And actually, I think I had cut these tabs off. So you can cut these off as well. And it's a little bit. And the only reason you have those tabs is because you want this type of closure at the top. So there you go. There's one and two. My coloring looks better on this one. I just don't know what's going on with my coloring today. So there's our second project. And now my third project is what is one of the what is one of the favorite things you like to do when you go camping? Last week I said I was a chocoholic because I had all that Easter chocolates and believe me I've still been eating them. But the kids Every time we go camping, the very first thing is, when can we make s'mores? So, I made a s'mores box. And, um, uh, this has s'mores in it. Or stuff for s'mores. And I actually, I forgot to put my marshmallows. But I bought these little packages individually like this at Dollar Tree. They come in a pack, um, I don't know, six or eight little packages like this. So you can put the um, the chocolate, um, the chocolates, the graham crackers, and then the little Hershey bars. And I can't personally find them here, but I know when I lived in Texas, there were small bags of marshmallows that you could find. Um, our local market was H-E-B, and H-E-B um, carried them. So uh, wherever you live, you might be able to find them. I just have not been able to find them. And believe it or not, I even went on to Amazon and couldn't find them. One time I tried to get them delivered from H-E-B in Texas, and for whatever reason, they don't deliver to California. So I could always ask my friends to send them, but... They'll be like, marshmallows, Lisa? Really? So anyway, we have our little s'mores kit. So we're going to start out with... I have stuff everywhere. So I get my measurements correctly. We're going to start out... The bottom is going to be early espresso. And it's going to be 8 by 7. So let's go with... Seven here and eight and then the top is going to be crumb cake so we'll go ahead and cut that one now as well and that's um seven by six so six by seven because we can score both of these at the same time all right yeah, the kids are, it's like, we haven't even had breakfast, and they're like, when do we get to make s'mores? This is just a cute little, uh, this could even be like a favor for some sort of, uh, like a, a western theme party, or camp party, cowboy party, I don't know. So, this is the early espresso, the eight inch side, and we're going to score it at one and a half and six and a half. So one and a half, six and a half. And then um, we're gonna score the short side, which is the seven inch side, at um, one and a half 
and five and a half. And remember, all the measurements are on my project sheet. So, um, you know, you don't have to write them all down right now. My kids are older. I have grandkids. So pretty much every time we go camping, we're taking the grandkids. The parents get to stay home. <laughs> but uh, my children, oh my gosh, my oldest is like 38. I can't even remember. This is terrible. 38, 31, and 30. Yeah, I'm bad. <clears throat> I keep trying to not remember that oldest one's uh, age. So again, this is the seven by six. It's a seven inch side. We're gonna score it at one and six. Yeah, me and my brother, we both have trailers. So my husband and my brother are constantly booking camping trips and so we always take the um the kids so on the short side we're gonna score it at one and five try not to get distracted here but yeah the kids are uh you know we're always he takes his granddaughters and then i have a grand grandson and a granddaughter but we like to, like I said, you know, we do our yearly trip at Lake Tahoe. So all the kids go, our kids, our grandkids, daughter-in-laws, son-in-laws, all that stuff. We have a big, and then we invite um, all our cousins as well to come. So we're just gonna cut these two uh, pieces, go together exactly the same. We're gonna cut, these up the score lines these are tabs I really kind of can't see I got like a glare on me or on my thing I hope you guys aren't getting the glare so just cut all these up and then we can assemble them and I'm gonna use liquid glue on these. So this is the bottom. I like the liquid glue because I like to be able to move them around if I need be. And that's probably more than enough glue as well. Let's glue up each corner. And you can always miter those so that you don't have that. And that's because of the score line. You always get that little bit because of the indention from the score line. So you could always miter them. But we love camping. I think our next trip we already have booked is we'll be going up to um, Santa Cruz, the Santa Cruz Mountains. It's only about 30, maybe 40 minutes from us. Probably more like 40 minutes. And... Um, this is gonna bother me, so I'm gonna cut that off. But yeah, we're gonna go up there in May um, for our daughter's birthday, her 32nd birthday. So this is gonna go together the same. Like I said, you put my brother and my husband together and they're just booking camping trips. And I was like, you gotta let me know. I need to have some sort of say so in here. Cause then who's gonna do my workshop Wednesday, right? Unless I try and do it from my trailer. Some places have internet, some don't. That's another thing, the grandkids, that's their first question before we leave to camping is, is there gonna be Wi-Fi? You know, they all gotta have their tablets and play their games. And we're like, no, you need to camp. We're camping. We're gonna go enjoy the outdoors. So there's our box and our lid. I have some graham crackers here. We'll put in there. Like I said, if you could find those marshmallows, that would be awesome. I would put two more bars in here, but I don't have them. I probably ate them. <laughs> yeah, 
me and my uh, chocolate problem. Right. Okay, so next our piece of um, DSP that's gonna go on the top, I guess I should have cut that when I had the trimmer, is going to be four and three quarters by three and three quarters. Three and three quarters by four and three quarters. Actually, we were just camping up in Pismo Beach and you know, the grandkids went up well they could because, you know, they're in school. But we went up there for like, well, we reserved for seven days. And when it was time to go home, my husband and my brother were like, oh, we don't want to go home yet. So me and my sister-in-law are like, okay, well, go see if you can find a, a if you can get us another night or two. So we end up staying two more nights. We just don't like to go home. So we're gonna cut a very vanilla rectangle out. I'm gonna cut this in half again so it'll fit on the, um, the big shot. And we're gonna do a um, the tent on the circle. Where did I do it? Oh, my soft suede ink. I'm trying to talk and work at the same time and I'm not very successful. <laughs> so we're gonna do the tent with soft suede ink. And we're gonna use that same stitch uh, circle as we did before and the rectangle. So I don't know if any of you have the rectangle um, dies and sometimes they don't cut. I just found this out. Let me do this one first. I was going to cut them at the same time, but what I heard the trick is, is that you put it at an angle and um, uh, put the corner in. So instead of putting it like this or like this, put it at an angle, but my piece isn't big enough so that this corner goes in first and then it'll cut. So let's see what happens. Let's see if mine works for me. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but I had just heard that, that you were supposed to put that, uh, see it didn't cut all the way. And so I heard, oh look, let's do this. That when you put it in at an angle, so that this corner goes in first, it'll cut. Not sure if that made a difference. Well, it looks like it cut, yeah. I guess it does. But I had just heard this because somebody had brought it up. So you can always learn some good tips. So for this as well, um, I'm gonna just use the scrap piece of paper. For my son, I just punched a, this is a one inch, it's not stamping up, I know, my bad. But um, I'm gonna make my moon over here. So I'm just gonna lay this over here. I hope this is all in the camera. And you could tape it down if you want or whatever. I'm using Mango Melody and I just brushed in that circle. And you can make it as dark as you want, as light as you want. And we're gonna make our moon. You could even add some orange in there if you want. Oh, I got, I didn't cut my paper. I should have used a different piece of paper, but I got the top. But it'll work. So now we're going to stamp these trees again in soft suede. And they're not going to fit all the way on the paper. Or on the rectangle. So just stamp what you can. And then we're going to do enjoy today again because who's not gonna enjoy some s'mores?
thank you for saying I look that young to have kids that old. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, my I had my oldest at a very young age, so she people always tell us that we look like sisters. I appreciate it. She probably doesn't. Because then that maybe she thinks she looks old. Oh, I just stuck this on the ink. Darn it. So this is going to go here. And then my circle can cover it a little bit. I wanted it more down like this. I went and stuck it right on the ink on the paper. Darn it, darn it, darn it. But we're going to add the dimensionals. Oops. I don't mean to add that many, but two would have been good. So we'll go ahead and add four anyway. And if anybody finds those little packages of marshmallows, let me know. And then I can try and maybe track some down. Because those are like good with projects with hot cocoa as well. So we're going to put our um, tent there. And then now my linen thread again. And I'm just gonna wrap it around twice just to tie the box down. But these are, you know, you're going on a camping trip or whatever, you wanna make a little goodie, a goodie box for um, the kids. And then they could, um, you know, do their s'mores uh, when they want. And they don't have to say there's no more marshmallows or there's no more chocolate. So-and-so ate all the chocolate. They each have their own and you could kind of limit them to <laughs> how many s'mores they're going to get. Right? They're not going to be eating um, all of them. I like to separate my twine or thread. Oops. I need to pick up my bow and just a little bit so that it's like crossed and there's our third project wow so that went by fairly quickly I hope you guys liked all the projects I finally got to play with this set and enjoyed playing with it. Um, I wanted to use each of the stamps. So there's the, the three projects. Um, where did I do with my cards? Here were my cards. Happy trails. So here's three the three projects of the day. So if you guys want, um, you know, to uh, get these make and takes for today, just place the $35 order in my online store and here's the code and you'll also earn my Sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial which is um, focused around birthdays today. If you guys have any questions or uh, comments about every, anything, let me know. If you're watching it on the replay on YouTube, um, Give me a like or subscribe to my channel so that you'll always get them. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you back next Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye.